Hi everyone, I am Jamie and this is Batman and Robin has run off for now and uh, I, I haven't been on to do any informational videos or video logs for a while um, as I was diagnosed with Lyme and I had a lot of trouble um, a lot of trouble just treating it and uh, also some personal issues and just going through a new chapter in my life and I now feel like I'm in a place where um, I don't necessarily want to give advice because it's actually really hard because everyone's so different and so people people ask you know what are you doing and I answer but you also have to say, yeah, I'm doing this, but, you know, your treatment that will work for you could be completely different. So I did want to say, you know, if you are have been following my videos, I was diagnosed with uh, with Lyme disease and, and uh, some co-infections, and I am fairly sure that I definitely do have it. Um, I got the tests checked and rechecked and did some really good testing which there's a lot of very bad Lyme testing, and then I also did some Lyme treatment, and that Lyme treatment did help. So, um, and I was bit by ticks around the time that I got sick, along with a bunch of other things. Perfect storm, there was a tick, there was mold, there was viruses, all of that. So um, there are going to be some uh, people that, that believe that Lyme and ME-CFS are the same thing, and I do, I, I started my page with ME CFS and I do always want to stick with that um, and I don't want it to get into that debate if it's if it's the same if ME CFS is a symptom of Lyme etc I want to treat them as as two separate things and address them both um, so I'm going to talk about what I've been doing since I've been diagnosed with Lyme that has helped me the most but that I believe has helped my ME CFS. So I guess I did admit what I believe about that, but I don't, I don't want to debate it any further. Okay. Um, so, uh, the, the things that I've been doing for, for Lyme, um, a lot of them are, uh, you know, anti-spirochetal, which I hope I said that right, or spirochetal. The, the spirochete is this corkscrewed organism that is Lyme that penetrates tissues and is just this monstrous, looking organism that, that is Lyme. And um, it was diagnosed with co-infections so, such as Bartonella and um, a few other ones. Um, and so what I've found that, that it treats Lyme but that also treats ME, CFS, um, I don't want to say it's been one and the same but I do feel like there's a definite overlap so I want to share with you so if you if you believe like I only have Lyme or I only have ME CFS or I have both or Lyme is CFS or whatever um, <laughs> I think this helps for all of them and it at least helped me so I think that taking um, an overall approach to support your immune system and uh, support your your gut healthy gut bacteria, which you know, if you're following what's going on with MECFS, especially, um, you know, there's there seems to be a lot of links to gut, you know, gut bacteria, and and supporting your your gut is good for. For any disease, obviously, um, so supporting the gastrointestinal system, and I am sure that is good for for Lyme as well. Any any disease, you want to have healthy gut flora. It's really important, and it is hard with Lyme because a lot of times people get prescribed antibiotics, um, which can do some damage to gut flora. So you want to make sure you you balance it and that you. Um, that you're also supporting that. And I will say I did take, you know, they put me on a lot of antibiotics. But for me, I have seen more improvement off the prescription antibiotics and um, more so on natural antibiotics. So um, I guess I'll go with um, immune support first. And some of this will all tie into, you know, gut bacteria and oh and also obviously treating the viruses that often come with ME CFS and of course treating Lyme and co-infections. So um, 
As far as um, immune support, something that's helped me is called loracidin. So, so this this has helped, and this just this is actually good for for um, gut flora. Well, I will just read it. It supports a strong immune defense, which we all need. Um, a healthy balance of gut bacteria and maintain healthy levels of yeast. That's always good. I haven't had too many yeast issues actually since I've been taking this except for the antibiotics that's uh going to happen when you take um when, when you take a uh, prescription antibiotics it commonly happens not a lot of fun so uh def definitely recommend this it is a bit expensive but it was very worth it for me and then I want to go to my three herbs that I take that have just been really awesome and um these herbs are in um in a popular lime protocol i believe all all these herbs are and um and there's actually more herbs in those protocols but right now i'm just taking these three and they really seem to help all in conjunction so one of them is called trifala powder i might butcher these names i'm sorry and so um these have a lot of this has a lot of vitamins in it um antioxidants amino acids and it's uh just really good for your overall health really good for your digest digestive system <laughs> and uh and then there's cat's claw which is also um also very good for your overall um immune system and uh it's an it's an antiviral and an antibacterial and i think it works very well in conjunction with uh the last herb that i will show you i hope i i don't uh butcher this name as well um called uh bush i almost say naughty bushweed which sounds kind of naughty um but bushy knotweed and so uh bushy knotweed is actually antibacterial antiviral I hope I don't butcher this name again. Anti-spirochetal or spirochetal. Sorry. New to Lyme. What can I say? But just trying to help here. Um, and so it's and it's also an anti-inflammatory. So all of those in conjunction, I feel have been really helpful my as far as um just like crashing and my my overall energy has been a lot better since I've been taking those. And, um, and so, yeah, so all of these together, I mean, I could do a separate Lyme video or a separate MECFS video, but you know, all of these together are good for, um, you know, are good for Lyme and they're also good for viruses. So that's why I can do it all in one video. Everything I'm talking about, I'll put a link in the description so you can, um, you know, purchase it on your own. I'll try to find the cheapest one. You of course can always do your own research i don't sell any of these i would not like that job <laughs> that job <laughs> let's drop this so um so that's been really helpful as far as targeting viruses uh, equilibrant has been awesome i was going to do my own its own separate video for this and i might put some silly bloopers at the end of me first taking equilibrant um so equilibrant was recommended by dr chia dr chia is an me uh, cfs specialist and virologist and he is a great researcher and um this is what so his son had um had me cfs or i should say has because i do believe you kind of always have it but he's his son is at a point where he's not like bedridden and as sick as he was and is doing really, really well. Um, I think Dr. Chia said it cured him, but I think it's lifelong. But anyway, that's debatable. His son got a lot better from it. So he, Dr. Chia, he's definitely out there to help people. Um, this does have um, astragalus root, uh, licorice root, shiitake mush mushroom um, extract. And um, when you take it, you what he told me to do is to take a half at a time for a week see how you do work your way up um so you'll have some side effects when you you'll start taking it sometimes if you have no side effects and you take a half and you take one and you get up to three then it's not going to work that's what dr chia said that it's just probably not going to work for you if you feel something even if it's like side effects that's actually kind of a good sign because it means that it's working and when med meds work a lot of times you don't feel good at first and it's a kind of weird thing about MECFS and Lyme is that a lot of times you know something's working when you don't feel good at first just like low-dose naltrexone for me I got uh you know 
produce side effects at first with Lyme. It's a lot of uh, Lymeys. So, um, and I'm not trying to make fun of that. That's what people with Lyme call themselves, um, or what I've heard anyway. Um, we, we know to expect a Herxheimer reaction um, when we do something that kills the Lyme because uh, the, there's endotoxins that are released. That makes you, uh, your body basically goes into a little bit of shock and it's called a Herxheimer reaction. And um, so anyway, uh, kind of something similar with this, but with viruses. When this is getting, when this is uh, working with viruses, you will sometimes feel a bit sick. So, um, and, and also the, I want to mention this does have, uh, this does have dye in it. It has yellow and blue dye because it's green. Um, so what I what you can either do is just like hold it if you if you're sensitive to dye which I am is hold it under water and the dye will go away or you can get a pill cutter cut it in half which you'll need to do starting out anyway if you take a half at a time and then it it'll really it'll peel off really easily so that is what I did um it says on the back to start with six tablets I've ne I've been on this for like seven months and I'm at like three to four tablets. So um, that's good. But I've gotten a, the fatigue has been a lot better since taking this. So this is this is definitely a staple for me. And then um, I don't have it right here with me because it's a big contraction, but ozone and I've done videos on ozone and I will put that's something that's much better when you research yourself. But that has been so incredibly helpful for actually for like almost any disease or even if you're healthy, I think it's good. Actually, both two of my doctors that, that would administer it, um, they, they're completely healthy and they do ozone all the time. <laughs> and, um, so I think it's good for, for anything. The problem is it is expensive, but the good thing about that is, is that there are ways to buy it on your own and do it on your own and it's less it's a little bit of an inv investment but uh it does come out to be a lot less expensive and i'm not uh, going to share the specific way that i do it because the way i do it is a bit unconventional and i want to do it in a better way there's a few adjustments i need to make but I will mention it does have to do with this uh this sexy breaking bad attire right here um <laughs> So, um, it's that, that, that has been so incredibly helpful from, from doing it at home to doing it at doctor's offices. Uh, and when you do it at home, there's so many different ways you can do it. And, uh, without getting too like graphic or naughty or whatever you want to call it, I will say you can do it basically through every, I think actually tech, almost like every orifice in your body, except I haven't heard about using it in your nose, but ears, mouth, and down. So, uh, yes, and sauna, a lot of different ways you could do it. So I will put links on groups you can go into, check out the files, talk to people. People are always helpful. Um, we always, always support each other here, which is, which is great and amazing. So, um, and then LDN, every, if you've seen my videos, you know how much of an advocate I am for LDN. That has still helped me. I raised my dose and that helped me a lot. But I would say the, the things that, um, that have helped me the most, uh, from me going to, you know, having someone like need to basically like care give for me to now being able to work like I don't know, 15 to 25 hours a week, it varies, um, and be able to be like independent and live on my own has been those three herbs specifically and ozone. Am I missing anything? No, those, those have been, those have been extremely helpful. Like it's, it's made a world of difference and, um, oh, no, there is there is something I, I wanted to add to um, just to the overall treatment that I have not talked about in other videos. So uh, detoxing is very important with Lyme. When you take 
stuff like <laughs> like this that they have antibacterial properties so does ozone even though they're natural they can still i want to say cause like a kind of a world of hurt for you because um you're you you kill these toxins in your body and it doesn't feel good when these toxins are floating around so you want to get these toxins out you want to help the detox um you know it's it's a, sometimes a good sign when when you're herxing um but you don't want to get it to the point where you're just like want feel like you're dying or you're you know convulsing or having seizures it can be really serious so you do want to calm it down calm that down and you do want to take it very slowly something that helps is Alka-Seltzer gold and for some reason it has to be gold and you can get it on Amazon for some reason it's a little bit hard to get that mixed with lemon water and so when you do all of this what I like to do is do that and then take a nice uh, really warm bath or or a sauna and um, so that that gets the toxins out and uh, the, the the bath uh, about a cup of or more of uh, Epsom salt which basically is magnesium and the magnesium will also help with all of the aching it's brought brought me out of crashes it's been very helpful um, having that and some people don't have bathtubs you don't understand the lengths I've gone to to make bathtubs um, I've I've when I'm gone around traveling, I've gone to Ace Hardware and gotten storage tubs and used that as a bath. I could not look any more trashy if any literally it's kind of like a bin for like trash and stuff. So um my advice with all of this is to take this all really slowly and do it one at a time so you know what's working. This has worked for me. Some of these might not work for you. Some of them might have an interaction with a medication you're taking. So you always want to check with your doctor. And um, anyone that, that knows me personally know, knows that I went through a really hard time the past few months. And so many people within these groups um, have really helped me. And I will be forever thankful for that. And, um, you know, I hope that, you know, anything that you find helps for you, you know, you spread the word. This is how we spread awareness and how we help each other. And I know this video is long, but it's okay. I also want to say, um, I hope you guys check out, um, Millions Missing and I will put a link to that too. Millions Missing is a, uh, CFS ME. I will actually just use ME, an ME protest. And, uh, it's happening all over the world. It's spreading so much since not even a year ago, just a few months ago. And uh, we, we did make a dent last time and we're gonna make a bigger dent this time. And if you're too sick to go, there are things that you can do online. Um, and I will put the links at the bottom, but I would just try to participate in any way you can. Um, even if you're you're very sick, sometimes you can be a lot more capable of, of helping and change than how you feel you can do. So, um, yeah, I hope you check that out and, um, you know, even say you just have Lyme, um, you know, we're all in this together. The, the weird, the, the odd illness bucket that people don't understand. So, um, yeah. So anyway, so thanks for watching. I hope this helps someone and remember, check with your doctor to make sure it's safe or any other kind of professional. And I will see you guys later. Bye. So I'm getting all my meds ready and it's just growing. It's pretty bad. There, there's one sushi menu in there, but besides that, <laughs> over and this is exactly why I'm not doing a supplement and medic medication video because